हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस यूट्यूब चैनल टुडेज टॉपिक इज रिपोर्ट राइटिंग ऑफ द क्राइम सीन विजिट द टॉपिक इज रिटेन एंड प्रेजेंटेड बाय सौरभ प्रजापति वॉलंटियर ऑफ अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इज रिपोर्ट राइटिंग ऑफ क्राइम सीन विजिट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ द फॉरेंसिक प्रैक्टिशनर इन अ केस The forensic examination report is a critical and primary element. Whether you are writing for a client, a lawyer, or your supervisor, most of us needed a scientific way to communicate our results. So, crime scene report writing is a very crucial part of crime scene investigation. Forensic report and opinions are needed. There are following points in which forensic reports and forensic opinions are needed. The first point is in crime and civil investigation. The second one, the Forensic Science Act as an aid to guide investigator or jury to reach a conclusion. Third is to provide decision makers with the fact needed to decide the matter and ensure a successful investigation. Fourth one, to link the evidence with the crime and the criminal or the suspect. Fifth. to prove and disprove the fact in the issue six to exonerate the innocent from the case general rules for writing forensic reports so guys there are the f- some general rules which are very important for writing a correct forensic report the report must be divided into three main sections the beginning the middle which is also called the main body and the end in which we right result conclusion and opinion let's discuss one by one the beginning the begin- beginning usually talks about the executive summary complaint summary investigation summary and conclusion summary the main body must consist of the background the evidences considered and the analysis conducted the end talks about the fact conclusion opinions and signature time and date importance of report writing so guys now let's discuss what is the importance of the report writing the crime scene report writing is the very important part of the investigation second point in many instances the report is the only evidence that work was performed third third point is basically the strength of the report cases can be won or lost on the basis of the report you can imagine how powerful is the crime scene report writing the fourth point the report conveys to the litigator all the evidence ne- needed to evaluate the legal status of the case and indicated how the best to proceed the fifth point the written report force the examiner to consider his action during the fraud examination by requiring documentation of uncovered material fifth point the written report omits irrelevant information again during the fraud examination thereby allowing pertinent facts to be clearly presented and understood sixth and the last point the a satisfactory written report is based upon a satisfactory examination so by looking the report we can conclude that how satisfactory the examination or investigation was done so guys let's discuss what is the general structure of the forensic report first title of the examination report means whether the report is toxicologist handwriting uh, opinion ballistics etc with proper legal section of the evidence act of that particular country or region second point name and address of the laboratory with contact information like telephone mobile number fax email id third point affiliation of the laboratory showing its legal entity and accreditation status in case you are a freelancer you are your all credentials with your expertise and experience must to be mentioned on the letter head of the report or at the end of the report fourth and the not least unique id number with the report with date if applicable fifth point name of the customer that must be client
attorney or individual with reference letter number and the date that is assignment letter sixth point case inquiry dd fir number date police station under which court if applicable then these information should be mentioned in the report seventh point mode of recipient of material that is evidences or specimens that is collected by through a messenger or came by post or by mail eighth point is sampling method how sampling method done by io investigator or forensic expert means all the sampling method which are used in crime scene to collect samples should be mentioned in the crime scene report next point reference to the test methods uh, means the lab procedure lab manual books published standard method used in the examination or sometimes to the previous cases solved or conducted all these information should be included in the report next point condition of the partial test samples and the seals example received one seal unsealed parcel etc the seals were enact and tied with the specimen specimen seal as per forwarding authority letter next point description in which specimen parcels samples exhibits etc should be mentioned next point methodology of examination what are the methods are used in the examination of the samples evidences should be mentioned in the proper crime scene report result and exa- result of examination and opinion what are the results which are outcomes of the examination of the samples and opinions should be noted in the crime scene report last but the not but not the least signature of examining officer along with seal should be mentioned in the proper report so we have come to the end of the our video so let's see what we have discussed today the question is methodology of the examination should be written in the report option 1 true option 2 false do post your right answer in the comment section as you all know in the previous uploaded video the topic is forensic examination of the signature and the question is which of the following is a characteristic of genuine signature as opposed to forged signature so the right answer is pen stroke with tempering ends so this is the end point of the video we will meet again in our next video with a next interesting forensic topic till then stay home stay safe thank you